Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. My solar power, as you see right now, is 2,925, 3,007, 3,021, 3,031. The reason this is, is because I have two ACs going and my air fryer. So between them all, they're pulling 3,000 watts from my inverter. Well, let me see what they're pulling before I say that. So they're pulling 2,821. So one one and a half horsepower AC, one one horsepower inverter AC that barely performs, and my air fryer that pulls about 1,200, 1,300 watts. My load is 2,824. My batteries are currently full. My batteries are currently full. So as you can see, um, 99%. So it's technically full. 147 watts all that's going. So what's going to happen is the system is going to dial down its, the production just so it doesn't overcharge the batteries. The BMS is communicating between the inverter and the battery and it's telling it what to do. So the video today is about time of use. Kyle did a video on time of use which is very good. The challenge we had was Kyle has a very strong accent and if you don't want to invest the time or effort in listening to him, then you complain. You see, just dial down to 1.8 now. So let me show you. Um, to do time of use, time of use, what it basically determines is when you run on uh, solar power and then while the grid is available, and then it also tells you when um, the grid, when you'll allow the grid to charge your batteries. So here we go. We're going to go into the setup menu. First thing I'll tell you to do is go into the battery settings, right? In the battery settings, um, you want to use battery percentages because this is all this is all based off percentages. And I'm going to go in. Uh, one thing I want you to make sure you have is the grid charge function. Have that turned on. And then here, even though these settings are here, we're going to ignore them because it says start at 30 percent, start at 30 percent. We could move that number higher. Now, one other thing is if you're going to use a generator, uh, make sure you activate the gen charge and the gen signal and then the maximum hours you want your generator to run for. So I have it set at seven and a half and generator downtime, the minimum amount of time you want generator to be off by one hour. So I said that. So this number start, the start, um, start, you can change, change these numbers. So let me change it. Um, I'll leave it at 30%. So we escape again and I will come back to the system work mode, right? set up you're not selling in nigeria we're not able to sell so do not sell please and then zero export to load now i can set mine to load first but because i'm purely off grid i will not set it to load first but for those of you who have the grid set it to load first okay so the system will power your load first before it, it attempts to charge the battery so that's on the solar side so you select load first and then enter to accept that and then go to the next screen, and then this is where time of use, you activate time of use, where it says time of use, you activate that. And then I want the grid to charge between one and five whenever the battery drops, whenever the battery is 65% or lower. And then from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m., I want the grid to charge when the battery is 40% or lower. And then from nine, all the way to 5 p.m. I want it to just run on solar and not charge the batteries. And then from um, 5, 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. I want it to um, start charging when the batteries drop below 80%. Now the reason why I have those numbers high for Nigeria, we're not sure when the grid will come. So you just want to keep topping up the battery, but I feel that this number should be 60 or 70 percent if you have really big batteries for those of us with small batteries keep it at 80 percent so i hope this explains the time of use so let me do it one more time so you have to activate time of use and the times you want the grid to charge you click on grid charge if you have the generator start function and you have generator then select gen charge as well um, the percentage so between one and five you want whenever the battery is below 65 percent 65 percent or below it charges and then between five and nine, when the battery is 40% or lower, it charges using the grid. And then we're ignoring using the grid to charge from nine all the way to 5 p.m. And I will repeat the same thing below. So let's 
So let me see what we're doing right now. We've dropped to 1.3 because the AC that we're using has probably a uh, heat temperature. So that number dropped. Or my pressure cook, or my air fryer has heat, temp has heat um, temperature and that's why that number dropped. So if you recall, when we started, I was at 3,000. Now I'm 1,002. Let me show you. Now I'm 1,226. Um, I've used 6.8 kilowatt hours. Our goal today is to see if we can pull 10 kilowatt out of our 10 kilowatt hours out of our panels. So if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah, the fan is on. And what kicks the fan on is not necessarily the load or the fact that it's charging. What kicks the fan on is this. So let me show you. So this is what kicks the fan on. When the temperature is, I believe, 54 degrees, the DC temperature is 54 degrees or higher, the fan kicks on. I think it's 55, the fan kicks on. And then the, this one here, I think, is 46 or 47 is what kicks it on. So right now, as you can see, we just had a cloud and we're pulling 2,831 out of the battery. So everything kicked on, the AC kicked on, my air fryer kicked on. So we're pulling 2,829 watts out. Of that 2,829, earlier was coming out of the batteries. Now the panels are producing and the panels are compensating for the difference. Once again, thank you for watching. Dr. Sola, out.